So PortKeys has a new OS. Let's dive in. I'm here at PortKeys with Daryl. So Daryl, how's it going? It's going great. NAB has been fun. Great, great, great. So you have a new OS in your monitors. Tell me about it. Yeah, so we've been working really hard. Uh, we've been taking a lot of customer feedback on how to make it more user friendly. So I think we've done a good job at that. We've, uh, we, we're ready to show it off here at NAB 2024. Um, to activate the menu, all you gotta do is touch the screen. You see you get your two little bars on the sides. Uh, you got some settings that you can adjust pretty quickly like uh, monitor brightness here. And you can also tap that and change it to the fan speed. So you can control the fan speed of the monitor. Since this monitor has 2200 nits, it's very bright. Um, so you can actually control that fan speed. If you want silence, you can turn it all the way down. Um, also, if you look at the little picture of a chain link, it means connection. So you click on that and you can select how are you going to connect to the monitor since this supports wireless uh, camera control. Um, talk about camera control. This is a Komodo. I know you support that. What other cameras do you support? Well, we uh, pretty much almost support everything. Uh, before, the only manufacturer that was missing was Airy, uh, but we've added that now. So the new software updates, uh, we're gonna add Airy wireless camera control. Um, other than that, we have Canon, Panasonic, Sony, um, Zcam, and we also support the Tilta um, wireless follow focus as well. So you can control that via the monitor. Whoa, that's amazing. You're really stepping up your game with that. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, on the right side, you got your functions. So that's where you select whether you have peaking, false color, RGB parade, all that stuff. You select it here on the, on the right side and you can swipe and then you can add more functions. When you press that, then you can select whether you want to add a monitor function, camera control function or image settings. And then it'll give you a little icon here on the right hand side where you can select it pretty quickly and easily. Um, from there, we also have the ability to have custom pages. So if you have different people using the monitors, you can have, or different ways you want to use the monitor on different days, you can have custom pages designed for each type of, of work that you're doing with the monitor. So what made you guys come up with the new OS? What was the reason behind it? Well, customer feedback, right? So we want to make sure that our monitor was easy to use. Uh, customers can jump in and, and get work done faster. So like I said, past year or so, we've been working really hard, getting feedback uh, from customers and, and making sure we can make it the best we can. That's great. So are there any new features that you couldn't do with the old OS? Well, the custom pages, actually. Yeah, so we, the custom pages is something brand new that we couldn't do with the old OS, yeah. I can imagine that's super functional, especially if you share a monitor between uh, like a focus puller and an operator. Correct, that's exactly why we did it that way, yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and so this was a touchscreen monitor. Is it possible to maybe in a later stage get this in the one of the non-touchscreen monitors as well, the new OS? Uh, it's going to be on a model by model basis. So we're working on obviously all the new models going forward are going to have the new OS. Uh, anybody who has some of the older models, it's going to be on a monitor per monitor basis of how that upgrade is going to work. So I can do that via a uh, USB update or how is that going to work? Yeah, if there's an update, it's probably going to either be via USB. Uh, there might be some rare cases where we may have to do a hardware update to make it work. And a magic question, what's the price? Well, the pricing and on the software, just, it's going to depend. I don't have any official information on that. Yeah, so just stay tuned on our website. Cool. Um, and have any uh, new features coming up in the OS as well that you can tell us about maybe? Nothing we can say right now, actually. <laughs> but you're still working with the customer feedback, looking at things? Yes, constantly. And we might leave NAB with more feedback. So after this, we might add more features to it. That's the way it works. So everybody, keep talking to PortKeys because they will actually listen to you. They'll put your, your, all your requests into the new OS system. Thank you so much for having this conversation. This is Joost for DIYPhotography.net at the PortKeys booth, NAB 2024.